the Pythagorean theorem, holds a fundamental and timeless significance in mathematics. In the real world, this theorem states that in a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. We all know this basic mathematical theorem, but do we know who formulated it for the first time? While Pythagoras was an important historical figure in the development of mathematics, he did not figure out the equation most associated with him. In fact, there is an ancient Babylonian tablet which uses the Pythagorean theorem to solve the length of a diagonal inside a rectangle. The tablet, likely used for teaching, dates from 1770 BCE, centuries before Pythagoras was born in around 570 BCE. This 3,700-year-old clay tablet has revealed that the ancient Babylonians understood the Pythagorean theorem more than 1,000 years before the birth of the Greek philosopher Pythagoras, who is widely associated with the idea. The tablet was used by ancient land surveyors to draw accurate boundaries and is engraved with cuneiform markings which form a mathematical table instructing the reader on how to make accurate right triangles. The tablet is the earliest known example of applied geometry. Experts believe the ancient Greek philosopher may have heard about the theorem by word of mouth and popularized it, but still made it his own. Though the tablet does not express the Pythagorean theorem in the familiar algebraic form it's expressed in today, coming up with those triples would have required understanding the general principle that governs the relationship between length of the sides and the hypotenuse. The tablet not only contains the world's oldest trigonometric table, it is also the only completely accurate trigonometric table. This means it has great relevance for our modern world. Babylonian mathematics may have been out of fashion for more than 3,000 years, but it has possible practical applications in surveying, computer graphics, and education. This is a rare example of the ancient world teaching us something new. The tablet details a marshy field with various structures, including a tower, built upon it. The tablet is engraved with three sets of Pythagorean triples, three whole numbers for which the sum of the squares of the first two equals the square of the third. So why did this get attributed to Pythagoras? No original writing from Pythagoras survives. What we know of him was passed on by others, in particular the Pythagoreans members of a school he set up in what is now modern-day southern Italy. The school, named the Semicircle of Pythagoras, was secretive, but knowledge learned there or discovered was passed on, and often attributed to the man himself. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.